Wilson have brought out a brand new golf ball, which they say is designed to help golfers break 80. That's a bold claim. And in this video, we're gonna test them. Now I've tested loads of golf balls, which claim to go super long, straight off the tee, and help you generally play better golf. But I've never known a golf ball brand to bring out a ball designed to help you shoot a certain score. Now I'd like to think I'd be able to go out and shoot under 80 with any golf ball, you'd hope. But there's three main elements of this Wilson golf ball which they claim are gonna help you shoot better scores, break that 80. So these are the Wilson Triad golf balls. And the try really symbolizing the three areas that Wilson have tried to improve. I'm gonna read this as a direct quote. The T3 technology is designed to find more fairways, good, <laughs> attack more pins, excellent, and sink more putts. Everybody wants to do that, right? And again, another direct quote. To achieve the important higher MOI, effectively to make the ball more stable, Wilson engineers have moved the weight from the core to the outside of the golf ball, and that's resulted in a more balanced golf ball. Now, with that all being said, it's all well and good listening to those claims, but let's test those three areas. Holding more putts, attacking more pins, hitting more fairways. And the last point, the price, 37 pound a dozen, which is a little bit less priced than let's say a box of Pro V1s, but still in that kind of premium price category. And it also comes in uncoated version, like a raw golf ball. Okay, so the first test was on the putting green. These golf balls saying they're more balanced, will it mean that I'm gonna hold more putts? <laughs> After spending time putting these golf balls, I've got to say two things. One, did it make me hold more putts? No, it didn't. I hold a few putts, but not any more than I would see normally. But let me tell you about point number two. And I do not say this lightly. This golf ball is the best feeling golf ball I've ever used with putter, period. Now that's bold, I know. And believe me, I've tested a lot of golf balls. There's a couple of things I look for feel-wise with putter. I do like it coming off soft off the face, which this does, but I still want that response. I still want that feel. Honestly, that feel surprised me more than anything. Very, very impressive. And I've also spent a bit of time hitting some short shots with it, chipping around the green, playing some longer shots into the green. And again, feel-wise, phenomenal like absolutely phenomenal. Really good spin characteristics around the green as well. So far, so good. Next up, I need to hit some iron shots. You know what, if you wanna try and break 80, attacking pins or at least hitting the green is really important. If you can get a golf ball that might give you a little bit more consistency to hit those greens, well, that would be an amazing benefit to have. Now I'm on a little par three here, which requires accuracy. So in short, it's into wind slightly off the left, but anything off the green, I'm either going in really severe bunkers or everything runs off into the rough. Accuracy is key here. So let's see how this golf ball's fair. I'm gonna hit five shots into this green. Oh, that's, the wind hardly touched that. Now that's a slight miss green. Okay, that's uh, two balls hit, two miss greens. I think I can go much more at the flag, to be honest. Hmm. Slightly complex at the moment, because those three haven't really done that great. Right, at the moment, I've hit four shots, and I've missed four greens. <laughs> I'm not sure about attacking pins. Attacking greens would be a good start. Save the best till last. That's more like it. I'm just gonna go three more. That's a better golf shot as well. That's right down it. Sit a bit, sit a bit. Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness! That nearly slammed in the hole. And when I say slammed, like nearly went straight in. Oh, that's nice as well. That's nice as well. 
feel like I just needed to kind of get used to this because these are starting to really come off nice. Just thinking on the one before, going back to that point, attacking pins, that six shot couldn't have been attacking the pin anymore. That'll be good as well. Cut a bit. Excellent. After the first few bad shots, those last four, very, very impressive. Okay, so let me just show you these. As I mentioned, these all landed kind of on the side of the green, but because they're all banked off, they've all kicked left. I wouldn't be particularly happy with those ones. But as I mentioned, as I got going, look at these. I mean, I take any of these. Come have a quick look at this as well. Look, <laughs> the golf ball landed there. Like, that's very, very close to a slam dunk. All right. I need to do a repair job on the side of the hole and just get my putter and tap that down. It'll be like I've never been here. Now my next test I think is a very important one. The durability of the cover of this golf ball. Because first off, how good it felt with the putter, how soft it felt. Sometimes our soft covers can tear up. And if you think about the golfer who's going to be using this golf ball, the golfer striving to break 80, inevitably, they might lose a couple of golf balls around, but also they might play a long time with it and they don't want it scratching up by lots of shots. The other thing I want to mention is how good this cover looks. Like this is a three piece cast urethane cover. It looks phenomenal. I'm gonna do the bite test. And it is soft. I can dig my teeth into that. So I'm gonna hit 10 shots out of the bunker with my lob wedge and see what the cover looks like after that. Ten shots in a bunker, durability test, very impressive. Like a few tiny, tiny little marks, but in the grand scheme of things, certainly against other balls I've tested in the past, very good performance on durability. Doing well this ball so far. <laughs> this one's not anymore, this one's gonna get chopped in half. So have a quick look inside. So like I say, a lot of the technology of this golf ball is on the inside. They talked about making the core bigger. Yeah, you can see the three piece there. You've got the main core, which does look fairly large. You've got the kind of inner mantle, and then you've got the outer cover. Not loads to see there. So, so far, so good for the Wilson Triad. Incredible feel off the putter. Didn't help me hold more putts, but incredible feel. Pinpoint accuracy. We got some of them, didn't we? We hit some really straight shots down the flag. But again, some pilot error. I also missed the green. Durability. As you've just seen, phenomenal. Like one of the best, again, I've tested so far. So the final test for this golf ball is finding more fairways. Now, if I've ever picked a hole where finding the fairway is imperative, it's this here, the 18th at Formby Ladies. It's dead straight hole, but if I miss right, I'm in the heather. If I miss left, I'm in the heather. This requires accuracy. I've also got GC quad set up just to see what ball speed and kind of distances look like as well. But let's see if I can hit fairway over and over again. You want to try and break 80, hitting it straight off the tee would be a massive superpower. Mm, a little bit left. Heather one, fairway nil. Oh, that's an unreal golf shot. Yeah, straight down the middle of the fairway. That is so straight. If I do say so myself. Fairway two, Heather one. There is one thing so far, just looking at some of the numbers, like I'm swinging that at 110 miles per hour club head speed, I'm getting 157 ball speed, 277 carry. That's okay, certainly not the longest golf ball I've tested. So you know what, here's my opinion over the Wilson Triad golf ball. Overall, fantastic, really good performance. If you're shooting somewhere in the 83, 84s, let's say, buying this golf ball is not going to miraculously help you shoot under 80. I don't believe that. But if you are in that category and you're looking for a new golf ball to try, this is not a bad option at all. Very impressed.